Ah! Coronavirus! Shit is getting real! Ah! And let me ask you guys a question. I'd like to ask everybody a question. So I've had a headache all day and generally just kind of felt cold and shitty. Right? Um, um, but my, my personal experience, every time I've gotten sick, be it the flu, strep, bronchitis, and I guess this, is that, ooh, I'm so cold. Ooh, I'm so cold all the day. Ooh, I'm so cold. I want to bundle up. Ooh, I want to bundle up. And then I bundle up. And then at a certain point, uh, my bundle becomes awful. And I'm like, I hate the bundle. I'm sweaty. I hate it. Right? Um, and then as soon as that happens... I feel completely fine for the rest of the day. Like as soon as I as soon as I like hit the point where it's too hot, I'm like oh, I'm I'm fine. And then I'm fine until I wake up the next day. Is that normal? Do people have that? Cause that's been my, that's been my experience. Like my throat doesn't even hurt anymore. Right. It will tomorrow. I'm probably not going to stream tomorrow. <coughs> I'm, I'm pro this is probably all you get. Um, for like a week. Uh, so anybody who, um, anybody who doesn't know what's going on, a uh, friend of Paige's dropped by and hung out and then later was like, Hey, can't hang out today cause my head hurts. And we're like, that's weird. And then they got back to us like multiple days later and we're like, ha COVID and the baby caught COVID. And now me and Paige have COVID. Now, granted, we haven't taken tests, but uh, but it's pretty fucking obvious. Is baby okay? Uh, I mean, he's he's safe. He's not like in danger, right? But um, he's he's not happy about it. You know, like he's, he's not not having a great time. Is Peach okay? So she just did like a three-hour stream. Uh, she's doing all right, uh, though. When I came over, <coughs> <coughs> when I came over uh, just now, she's like, "Oh yeah, you know what? I feel feel like I'm gonna feel like shit tomorrow." I was like, "Yeah, it's possible." Will this incident change going outside with friends? Probably not, but like we were we we're hanging out with people for like multiple years out in BC and it was all fine. And then uh, I'm going to assume I'm going to assume that this was foreseeable. Does that make sense? I don't have all the details. But I have a sneaking suspicion that this was foreseeable. Anywho. Is Pat Jr. in a different place? I mean, he's, he's at the house. Chilling with Paige right now. So, um... Uh, if I uh, if I'm like too sick to to do streams, um, 
Uh, subscribe anyway, or I'll die. If that subscription number drops below a certain amount, I just die. Sorry. That's the rules. Uh, I'll tell you what, though. I feel bad. I have been driving Paige crazy. Um, because when I get sick, I have an absolutely infuriating positive attitude. Like, so you know how girls make fun of men being sick? And how they're like, blue, blue, oh, help me, help me, lady, I'm dying, right? Um, me, I'm like, oh, you know what? You know, it's, so probably blow over any second. And, you know, I'm, feel, I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling okay. And also, and th th maybe this is me. This may, maybe, this is, maybe this is a sickness. Um, there is a genuine benefit to being horribly ill um you know when you have a big gross cyst and you finally burst it and get all the goo out and it hurts like shit but you're like wait how is hello fresh going on right now oh that was terrible timing <laughs> um Okay, so I have a HelloFresh subscription, but I can't do the I can't do the proper uh, stream up for that until later um, because I kind of need to be more on on point, right? Uh, I kind of need I need to be <clears throat> more put together to do my my usual sponsor thing. So in a couple weeks, when I feel better, um, we'll do the HelloFresh thing. But uh, you should buy HelloFresh; it's good for you. I wish I had HelloFresh right now. I bet it would dramatically help me with my COVID symptoms. And if um, teetering very close to legally actionable um, claims. Um, so anyway, you know when you burst like a cyst on your leg or something and you get all the poison out and it hurts like shit, but you're like, yeah fuck yeah right you know that feeling right uh some people some people get that other people don't get that anyway point being um so when i had the chills this morning uh i took a scaldingly hot shower Right, so I woke up and I had the chills, and then Paige watched the baby, and I took just like the hottest shower ever. And bro, that might be the best shower I've ever taken. Like, just underneath the lava, just ah, uh, like oh my god, the best. Isn't that bad for you? Shut up. I'm burning away the germs. <clears throat> I did come out steaming. Um, and uh, and then uh, before Paige started her stream, I went and took a nap. And like bundled up in like a little like, bur like uh, burrito of covers and get nice and warm because I'm sick. And it's, oh, the bed feels so comfy. Oh my god. Oh, it feels so good to be sick but also be in bed and be oh. Uh, so I've been driving Paige nuts by seeing the silver lining. Paige is uh She's not a believer of the silver lining. Paige is a believer in the cloud. You know what I'm saying? 
Like you could give you could you could give Paige a tiny little black cloud covered in tons of silver lining. Almost nothing but silver lining. And she'd look at you and go, Ugh, silver. What about gold lining? Am I right? Paige was complaining about silver yesterday, like the concept of silver. <laughs> like the like the metal itself. And Yeah, no, the concept. She wants all silver replaced with gold. Yeah, she's she I'm married to Queen Midas here. Um and I'm like, you know what, Paige, sweetie, one day you will destroy all the silver in the world. And she kind of rolled her eyes. <coughs> you know. Ah, it was good. Yeah, even the semiconductors. Paige wants to destroy semiconductors, all of them. Your dad was a werewolf? That's crazy, dude. Sorry about that. Yeah, I think everybody likes bronze. Bronze is nice. Are the Olympic medals made out of actual gold, silver, and bronze? They're plated, I believe. All right. Well, anyway, go buy HelloFresh. Um, particularly if you're a new subscriber, if you've never used HelloFresh before, I would genuinely recommend it. It's a really cool package. Uh, it helped me cook a bunch of good meals and obviously it would be very appreciated, uh, for y'all to do that and help out, uh, in a time period in which I am probably going to have to take like a week or so off. Cause I'm probably going to be really fucked up tomorrow or not. Maybe I'll just be, maybe I'm just built different, you know, maybe I'm just built different. <coughs> All right, let's thank the people and Mecca break. I'm not missing 36 inches. God put them where it needed to go. In my penis. Ugh. All right, Coden Farzol gifted a sub. Thanks, Coden. Dance Dan PZ Five kicked in a sub. Pat, would you consider using Xbob and trying Lost Odyssey again? I tried it again recently, and it's so good. Um, no, but the Lost Odyssey is good. Peach Saliva rated the channel. Thank you, Peach Saliva. I really appreciate that. Uh, apparently the version of COVID we have, according to the friend that gave it to us, um, is fairly mild because they got over, they got over most of their symptoms in like two or three days. So ears open. Uh, can Peach get Paxlovid because she's immunocompromised? I imagine there's a shortage. Uh, yeah, Paige, are, you're probably in the chat. You should call the... You should call the the eight one one and uh, get some Paxlovid. Oh, by the way, yeah, Page moves X Bob over there. I'd like to tell everyone a story. All right, now. Imagine I'm standing. It shouldn't be too hard because we all know I'm small, right? Now imagine you you just refuse to play fighting games in the training mode. Just imagine, right? So you're like this. I'm not doing training mode. I won't do it, right? You are also...
Holding the baby. You're holding the baby because he's fussing and he likes being on your shoulder. Right? But I'm still not going in training mode. <coughs> You're also dying of corona. And you hit master rank anyway. So, like, I hit master rank this morning in Street Fighter. Uh, and I legitimately felt like fucking Oro. Um, because uh, I was holding the baby and bouncing him up and down on my shoulder. And, like, trying not to sneeze from coronavirus and die. And not using training mode. And was like... Bro, imagine how good I'd be at Street Fighter if I didn't have to do all this shit. Right? Did I do Master Geef? Oh, that won't be a problem. My Geef's already diamond four and a half. Bailey Gaming sub. Thanks, Bailey Gaming. Dom plays poorly sub. Thank you. So to Coffee Mancer. Sub message popped up super late. Anyways, hope you and the family feel better soon. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Um... Do you mean training mode or modern mode? I literally have never gone into training mode with M. Bison. I have not even idled in training mode waiting for matches. I always idle on the mode select screen. I play classic. I think training mode sucks, and I don't want to do it. So, like, you know how you know how I play Street Fighter instead of labbing. I I play my match and then I alt tab out and bro and browse Twitter until my match pops. Like, I feel really genuinely, like, happy that I was able to achieve that while simultaneously maintaining my goal of not using training mode. Somebody who likes Unga Bunga Rushdown, who should I play in Street Fighter VI? Uh, probably Akuma or Kami. Ken. Forlorn Carton, sub, thanks, man. Add Merlin sub. Mecha break from the people who brought you snow break. Falcon is super fun if you like to zoom. Oh, thank you. Meowsifer murder mitten sub. Thank you, Massifer. Eris Miseria sub. Pat, got my second week. Uh, my, got my last second week one M4S clear last night and my weapon today. Probably fa favorite raid tier in a long time. Hope you feel better soon. So I was sitting around um, and... I made a decision about FF14, and that is that I was looking at the levels of all my classes, and I'm like, nah. Like, I got my Dark Knight up, I got Warrior up. Uh, and I missed my tomes this week because I'm sick. Um, so I'm probably just going to make the crafted gear and just wait and just, just give up on this entire tier. <coughs> uh, I've been playing, ironically enough, instead of doing that, I've been playing Pillars 1. And you know what the great thing about Pillars 1 is? I can play it with just my mouse, which is great for holding the baby and smooching the baby, mwah, 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 like that. <sighs> Late to the party, kicked in a sub. Sending you and Paige a get well message. Hope you get better soon. Thank you. Dova573 sub. Can't get sick inside of mech at least. Congrats on reaching master. Thank you. Bruiser sub. Greeting sick Pat. Wishing a fast recovery for you and the fam. Thank you. I appreciate that. Drake Valentine sub, 19 months strong. Question for the next wheel season. How would I get a free game on the wheel? Visions of the Void being the game. 
Thanks for the constant entertainment. Is Visions of the Void on Steam? It's not. Um, voices. That's weird. They definitely wrote Visions. All right, well, there's... Oh, my God, there's so many of the Void games. Vault of the Void, Voices of the Dusk, Call of the Void, Hues of the Void. Itch.io game? Um, just wait till the next... Um, till the season opens. There's still a lot of games on there, so I wouldn't... I wouldn't uh, get your hopes up. Fringe kicked in a sub to say, Hey, thanks, man. Skeleton Mill kicked in a sub. It's a good day to be a Minnesotan. Then again, every day is. Yeah, Minnesota seems to be doing all right today. Good for you guys. Shirtle kicked in a sub. Silver, pss, shittiest conductor ever. No point. Page, probably. Absolutely. She would say that. Oh, hey. Ouch, Ouch potato, potato kicked, kicked in. in. Five gift subs. subs. Thanks, Ouch, Ouch potato. potato. I love you. Oink. Somebody who started playing fighting games, getting to Masters but no training mode sounds insane. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, granted, I did training mode decades ago, but I don't want to do it anymore. It's not fun. It's boring. So everything I ever wanted to try with M. Bison, I tried in a match. Like the good old days in the early 90s. And guess what? You learn, you learn fucking hard doing things in a match. King Regal subbed. Say nice. Thanks, King Regals. Ansel DeLambert kicked in a sub. Thanks, Ansel. Pat, what type of mecha are you? A batao batao, a daka daka, pew pew, or foom foom? I like daka daka. I really like heavy arms. I either want every gun or I want to be a red blur. <clears throat> you know? I either want to be the heaviest or the fastest. Goose Attack Almanac kicked in sub. Please enjoy Mecha Break. And it's not... <coughs> <coughs> Pardon. And it's not Coward Devs and Character Creator. Well, thank you. Mugen Noken kicked in a sub. Hope me and the fan fleet better soon. Thank you. What the fuck is Paige sending me? Uh, hidden jork signals indeed. Hidden jork signals indeed. <clears throat> uh, New Millennium says Pillars 1 is shockingly chill, more than 2, and I think it's entirely because of the color palette. No, it's not. Um, Pillars, it's because of the, the, the map format. So Pillars 2 uses a... Um, disassociated spread out map format so they could do lots of different areas that didn't have to link into each other uh, cohesively with your boat um, so you spend a lot of time going to bespoke locations whereas like a full third or half of pillars one's uh, maps were just um, like wilderness areas like Baldur's Gate 1 that you would scrape for shit Hey, Fokant kicked in a sub. Thanks, Fokant. Jigokuro kicked in a sub. Says the Discord announced for the stream is GOAT, FYI. Worth a peek. Wow. 
Wow, this is dog shit. Whisper static kicked in a sub. Say, I got a job. Hey, good congratulations, buddy. Yeah, no, I, I find Pillars 1 really relaxing. Uh, Pillars 2 is much more intense. Uh, and I don't think I was ready for it when it came out. I'm, I'm playing Pillars 1 to go through um, and um, roll right into Pillars 2. Because I never did the DLC. Um, and also, I don't remember what any of the carryover decisions are about. You know what I mean? Like, the carryover decisions are like, what was your stance on the Animancy trial? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't fucking know. Go Animancy good? I, I don't know. I know I'm probably going to have to make a custom... Um, I'm probably going to have to make a custom profile because getting the Kana ending where he's progressive is really difficult. But hey... New Millennium says, I've been debating doing a replay as a Cypher or a Chanter, never played as the latter. My main issue with Cypher and Chanter is the Grieving Mother and uh, Kana are like two of the best party members in the game. So they were always in my party. Always. I'm playing a Druid right now in, um, in Pillars 1 because uh, I never played a Druid before. Um... If I had to say that there was Pillars 2 has one absolutely cataclysmic problem is that the ending has three party members diametrically opposed. And if you side with any faction, two of your party members will leave. And that just feels like shit. And like, yeah, you can replace them with identical party members, but still. Dom plays poorly, kicked in two subs. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Senior Smarty Pants subs in Minnesota Hype Train. Go op 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 op. Wow, a lot of people from Minnesota out here. I hope you guys are enjoying your lunches. I never did play Icewind Dale 1 or 2, if you can believe it. And uh, I hate Tyranny, Diagao Grunge. And I hate tyranny for a really stupid reason. Do you want to hear my really stupid reason for hating tyranny? It's the only one of Obsidian's modern games that you can't actually increase the font to be large enough to play on my television. For whatever reason, Pillars lets you make the text pretty large, but Tyranny doesn't. It makes it it lets you make it slightly larger. And is thus unplayable. Also, uh genuinely, um I actually really I I don't like the way I don't like the classes they give you off the start. It's just like, eh. uh, Dulla Man kicked in a sub, say 69 months. Nice, thanks, Dulla Man. And Roggle Jr. subscribe. Thanks, Roggle. All right, that's everybody. Thank you all for coming out. I appreciate it. Hopefully, I'm not too disgusting and sick for y'all. Let's give Mecha Break a try. Shall we? <coughs> Pardon. So I wasn't going to stream this. And then Dad asked and I was like, oh, it has controller support. And I'm like, sick. Oh, she knows about the 811 thing, though. Mecha break. Proceed to the 
deploy immediately. Security breach. All relevant personnel proceed to the hangar. For That's not me. That neither. That is a plug suit. With well tall id colors? We'll start with this guy. This guy looks like me. He has skin. No, that's good. We need to change the eyeball color. Personality? Makeup? I don't care about makeup. But I do care about hair. Where's my bald pilot? Where's my gross bald pilot? Well, I guess that's what my hair looked like back when I was a child. Hey, how come I can't change the color of the hair? it right there. Bro. Okay, hold on. We're just going to start this whole process over. Pick Mr. Bald Space Marine here. tiny little baby nose. How do I... I just want... I just want it to be red. You know? You know what? That'll do. That'll do. Outfit, huh? Oh, only the one outfit. 
I never lost a battle when I served in the core. Terrible. Phoenix, you made the choice to trust your comrade. Oh, that's awesome. You step Being flexible and resolute is key. Light always prevails. Humans are far more destructive than natural. New challenge, new feat. Trap your enemy. You made this the choice one. I like to this trust one. I like this the one. You stepped into battle. I did it. It's me. I did it. It's me. Can't you see? It's like there's two of them. Can I not call her the outfit later? This new toy. Got a name? Name's Elisness. A latest break striker, beefed up with extra armor. Code red. Code red. Oh my god. This is pretty fucking dramatic. Warning. Oxygen level below 20.9%. Warning, oxygen level below 19.5%. Mind projection system activated. Injecting EIC particles. I'm liking, uh, I'm liking this robot. Initiating system diagnostics. Structural integrity confirmed. No, it can't be, it can't be on square. Initiating emergency repair. It can't be on square. It can't be on square. Corite engine power supply you confirmed. You can't have it on square. Incoming urgent message from Space Garrison. Attention! We are under attack from Thea's vanguard. Significant damage confirmed. Self-destruct activates in 120 seconds. All units evacuate immediately. Well, I'd need an escape pod to do that, wouldn't I? All right. Plan B it is. So what's R1 and, uh, what's R1? Hold on. Controller. These are fine, but uh, general striker. Oh, for specific robots. Great. For specific robots. Oh, L1 and R1 are your shooter abilities. Oh, well then that's that's fine that they can that they can go and change those to wa ba ba square a b square a b Can I change overall control on all these or no? No, I just gotta do it for all of them. Okay. Dash. Ascend. There we go. Much better. Switch striker? Pretty sure that's what I got. Ooh. L3 is quick drop. Okay, great. There we go. Ooh. 
Ooh. Ah, here we go. we go perfect all of them set up and changed this already feels hot is it is that a fucking zaku is that a fucking zaku That felt good. So I heard that, uh, I heard that, uh, oh yeah, no controller's going to be just fine with this. the way this aims. So supposedly, um, these were designed by the Xenogears people. Because it looks like a Zeno here. Warning! Self-destruct initiates in 10 seconds. Elisus! Initiate re-entry sequence! Breaching Earth's gravity! Breaching Earth's gravity! Damn. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Ooh. System overheating. Holy Rebooting shit. Rebooting system. Fluid armor depleted. Power supply failure. System troubleshooting initiated. Warning. Fluid armor depleted. Holy shit. Just a little overheated. Does not have that. Fluid bad. armor regenerating. The elevator's gone. Holy shit. Believe me. Contact the nearest peacekeeping core HQ. Urgent communication incoming from friendly ground base. Pilot, this is Zone 48. Confirm identity. Over. Peacekeeper 98213 reporting. Pilot, we were also blindsided by Diaz Vanguard. The garrison's debris has wreaked havoc on this us. This got some juice. Unable to provide support. Over. Copy. What can I do? I see. Switch your main weapon from energy. 
Holy shit! It's got that juice! What is that? Hold on a second. I just went like left. What is that? Insufficient engine output. Energy restored. Engine boost enabled. Cautious energy management is advised. No. Colossal Striker, this is gonna be fun. They won't back off unless we take this thing down. Holy fuck. Okay. Break it. I'll engage head on. I see. I feel like there is a lot of button combos that I'm not quite understanding. But hey, man. Don't sweat it. Nothing moving in, Captain. Oh, hey, Casey Ray. Hey. You know, I'm going to turn this down a little bit. It's pretty loud. Oh, you just hold this? Yeah, they didn't pause either. Oh, cool. Yeah. 
That's a fancy looking not Gundam. Very fancy looking not Gundam. Proceed to selecting a mission. Okay. Now, confirm the mission. <coughs> Deployment test one. Okay. Mission accepted. Please plan accordingly. All right, all right. New Run mission. a combat drill in the Krog sinkhole simulation details. with your striker. Mission accepted. Okay. The data from this simulation is mission crucial. Accepted. Nothing Please will stay on your record. Okay. But still, take it seriously. The simulation is generated by AI using our top pilot's performance data. Then, import it into your cockpit's mind projection system. Okay. Getting used to fighting in a simulation will take some time. But remember, the mission comes first. You Drill mission. that one in. Break a leg. I'll break my legs. Combat simulation activated. Virtual strikers generated. Squad assembled. Oh, I hope these aren't real humans. Loading AI units. Pilot, prepare for deployment. Am I ready? I would like to disable my mic. Turn off voice strike. chat. How do I do that? Lumine, ready to strike. Inferno, ready to strike. How do I do that? Audio voice chat. see it. Oh my god, I'm lying. Elise-ness, ready to strike. I guess I'm using Elise-ness. Tricera, ready to strike. Bro. That's a sexy robot. That's definitely not a Gundam. It's not a Gundam. Mind projection system initiated. Capture and defend the three data nodes in the crop sinkhole. Capturing the nodes recovers abnormal mining data in the sinkhole. Recover data before the Federation destroys the mine. This is not a Gundam game, Jonah. Holy shit. Objective. Seize data nodes and gain control of the sinkhole. System unlocked. Okay. Melee mode. Unavailable now. Alright. Oh! All the other chats are saying every company's strikers have a different famous mech designer. Node A activates in 10 yes. seconds. Holy shit. Node A activated from seize the medium. Holy shit. What the fuck? Oh my god. Is that? Oh, I see. Nodes B and C activate in 10 seconds. Unavailable. Immediately. 
Wait, why can't I lock on? Why can't I lock on to that guy? Oh, cool. Oh, time to go. Oh, wow, this feels great. Oh, the capture is really fast. Holy shit. No. Nar. Initiating ejection sequence. Node A. Wow, that's fancy. Enemy down. So is this battle royale or is it team based? Like, like. Optical camo drone will soon go offline. Node C captured by enemy. Melee. Mode. Switching into melee mode is super cool. This feels so fucking cool. Assist. This feels so fucking cool. Energy low. That's it. Stabilizing. Node A captured by enemy. Holy shit. What? Why is that so fast? I can't understand that move at all. It's so fast. Shooting mode. Capturing data node. Fuck that. Shield. Oh, I see. I feel like I'm not understanding the kits happening here. Like, I don't understand this guy's kit.
And I also don't understand why I can't lock on to this attack. Hey, how come? How come um, every single time? Like I go to melee on these guys, I dash like left and right. I'm sorry. Do I just? my boost when I hit? I don't think I am. I did so good, guys. Whoa. MVP. That thing's cool. Yeah, I know those were bots, but it was still cool. Deployment test, Charlie 1003001, complete. Mission status updated. Break striker, please. <coughs> Light attacker. Pilot, we've completed phase one of the simulation. Proceed to tactical station for phase two. Can I fuck that robot? Attention, pilot. We've completed phase one of the simulation. Proceed to tactical station for phase two. Can I fuck on that robot? One last mission before deployment. Combat simulation activated. That's a that's a plane, Virtual isn't it? That's a macros. Generated. Squad assembled. That's a macros, isn't it? That's the Vic Viper right there. Tricera, ready to strike. Sky Raider, ready to strike. Falcon, ready to strike. This game's got a lot of hotness going on. This is a PvP, P PvP game, Croc and Crip. Falcon kind of sucks, yeah, but it's cool. Having this be Battle Royale is going to be so exciting. Entering combat zone. Like, so exciting. Objective, dismantle strap shatterers. Fire control system unlocked. 
Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. But I can turn really fast. Stratum Shatterer deployed. Stratum Shatterer deployed. Stratum Shatterer dismantled. What does this do? Oh, let's see. I see. I see. So that's Trifecta. The heaviest, biggest bitch ever. So I, I was wondering why what was happening, what was happening. Um, because I couldn't understand how that thing was so strong from the front until I realized its turning radius was real. I think its turning radius was actually as bad as it was. Oh, we're out. Take that, human eight shit fuck. This thing is crazy. You can go so fast. Ooh. Victory. 
Ooh. I don't know what I was doing. I shot, I shot on the robots. I shot him. Oh, wow, that's just heavy arms. MVP. Yeah, Falcon seems to be like a, a jungler. Oh, okay. <coughs> oh, you guys can't see this, huh? Um, all right. What attracted you to participate in Mega Breaks? De de think thrilling combat, different max graphics, gameplay. Where'd you hear about it? Influencer Pat stares at. Where'd you get the activation code? I got it from a Twitch drop. What input do you use? I use the PlayStation controller. How much do you... I'm very satisfied. Agree. It's not too difficult or too easy. Neutral. I find it fun. Agree. Game is appealing. Agree. I'm excited. Strongly agree. Oh, I don't want to have to do all this. This is too long. I'm just going to pick random... Random fucking answers. Random answers. I don't care. Oh my god, this is too many. I don't care about this. You gonna exit out of it? Oh, okay. Deployment test. Ha. Charlie 1000002 zero, 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 complete. Mission status updated. The challenge feature is ready. Familiarize yourself with each striker's capabilities. Oh, okay. I'll claim it. Salem Electric. Burn. Okay. So where do I get to actually unlock all these guys? Let's take a look. So that's Tricera. That's the heaviest bitch of all. Then you've got Narakami. Is that Vierge? Is that Sibson? By the way, uh, Welkin here is specifically the goof from Gundam 76. I don't know if you guys know about that one. Rambo Rowles, Zack Custom Zaku. I want the one that, that is from Xenogears. That's a plane. I'm at 79, whatever. Drill. Is 
So how do I buy them anyway? You said they give you enough currency, but how do I actually buy the fucking things? Hanger. <coughs> Weapon. Hanger. Switch. Research. And hang. Where's switch? Should be a research button. Oh, switch breaker. Ah, I see. I see. All right, let's get let's get the the money shot. Let's get it. So, um, hold on a second. How do I figure out what their kit is? Gatling gun. Heavier Gatling gun. Repair drone. Fortress form module. Blocking attacks from all directions. Let's try it. Yeah, this is the turret that was sitting on the control point. Guys, this game might have the juice. It might have on that juice. Like, it needs some optimization and shit, but like... Oh, yeah, this thing turns like shit. This thing turns like shit. It blocks from all directions, but the top. And also, the shields are bigger for when it's a parry. Okay. All right, let's let's just fucking play with our toys, shall we? Auto cannon. Unavailable now. Really? Shooting these things sucks. Whoa, what is that? Simultaneously locking up to 12 targets. Sport destroy escort jumps converge it. The booster greatly enhances energy regen and fluid armor G. Oh, I see. 
I see. Do you like exclusively firing this? Because the other two don't seem very useful. Kami the sniper. a while. Oh, you can just choose to zoom it or not. Drone deployed. Optical camouflage disabled. Oh. Where's the... Wait, I just have to have them in this? Holy shit. Drone deployed. Drone recall. Wait, what? The drone shoots too? How long? Wait, hold on. How long does this drone stay? Yeah, so I'm a little confused as to why the why I end up in that dash for a super long period. Insufficient engine output. I'm a little confused. On. Oh, the box is real, isn't it? Oh, I see. But like what like why do I what's the point of dashing so far to the side? Oh. It's to So you dash and then hit left 
right and then hit it again. I see. That's really cool, actually. All right, Welkin, you're cool. What do you got? Luminae. Oh, repair. Lots of, oh, just straight up pure repair, huh? Wait, really? Oh, and they're drones. Oh, that's weird. Hurricane. Ultra heavy defender, huh? Fucking cool. Wow, even the regular version's pretty good. Whoa, whoa. What is what are those? Oh wow, just it floods the field with shit. Shield on. I see. Turret. I love turret. Turret doesn't seem to be good. It does have to be super close. Converge firepower at target. Splitter. Deploys escort drones to converge the beam to the energy splitter. Holy shit! These are cool robots. What do we got next? Ultra heavy attacker, Stego. That looks like an ultra heavy attacker. That is a heavy fucking bitch. Look at this thing. Okay, pretty simple. Oh, cool. Is that chaff? that do? Jamming. Oh. Turret form, huh? Oh, oh! Unlike the other turret, this one is only one direction. But it's way stronger. Converge firepower at target. Micro missiles. Fortress form required. Really? Holy shit. Target required. Okay. Okay. I can't believe we haven't run into even one bad one yet. Sky Raider medium attack. This thing looks like a plane. This looks like Gundam 79. Mm. 
energy missile. Oh, that tracks. Whoa, what is all that shit? Jamming, causing fire control system failure. I see. This one isn't as fast as uh, the other one. Yeah, it's stronger, but not as fast. Medium support. This is a weird one. Unavailable now. What the fuck? That is a shotgun. Unavailable now. What? Unavailable now. Just dropping <coughs> you're just dropping a wall onto people unavailable now Ooh. oh heal yourself oh this thing is so weird. Holy fuck. Brawler, huh? Good old Panther. Shield activated. Interesting. Weapon not ready. Doesn't do nearly as damage a, as I would think it would. Ah. Weapon not ready. So shield, shield versus. Holy shit! This thing is. Uh, this is supposed to be Epio. Yeah, this is Epion. What is that? Oh, just heal. Okay. What is that? This is just invincibility. Shield deactivate. God damn. What do we got? Oh, wrong one. And last but not least, Aquila, the heavy sniper. That's a heavy fucking sniper. Oh, this one doesn't have to zoom. See. Okay, so that's pretty normal. 
Oh, that's helpful. Okay. What the? Did that lock it down? Are you serious? That's crazy. Air mobility up? Oh. That's a lot of air mobility up. Training complete. That was pretty crazy. Now let's go get stomped out in a match. Oh, you knew it was going to be Panther. Big dumpy. Stop looking at it. Pilot sequence stable. Mine projection system initiated. Escort reactor core and upgrade bunker city's power facilities. I have to say they're really doing a great job, like putting a lot of the visual mess onto the screen. Like, part of the mecha robot anime, like, uh, fantasy is just the complete, like, overload of ridiculous screens and talking and information. Wait, we're underwater? Objective. Capture consoles and guide payload to destination. Fucking Jesus. Oh my god, they just literally disappear. Holy shit, that's so cool. Signal 
trapped in there oh that's that's dirty as hell Enemy down. that's dirty as hell Take that, worm ants, you fucking asshole. Oh, wow. Oh, my God, that was so cool. Holy shit. There you go, buddy. Wow, Inferno has a lot of health. Holy shit. Like a lot. Panther, wasn't it? Seconds. 
Right. Oh boy. Holy shit. Take that elbow rod. What the fuck is all this shit? This is, oh, it's the cube. Oh, fuck. Oh, he, oh, God, that's so, oh, no. Oh, yeah. thing is like just hit and run forever like that's all it's got going on it's like do you want to hit and run like I would actually That was people, right? Morning. You are leaving the car. MVP. It wasn't me. <coughs> but I tried. I did. I tried real good. Oh my god, I got a supply crate, everyone. <coughs> How do I open up my supply kit? things you get out of these anyway. So what is that? Oh, okay. Well, that game's cool as shit. Hopefully y'all could have gotten codes or whatever to play it. Uh, I'm going to go to sleep is what I'm going to do. I want to thank the remaining people, such as Casey Explosion, who rated the channel. Thanks, Casey. I love you, buddy. Code and Farzel sub, so did Necros, who kicked in a sub to say, Dog fights and Mecha Break are hype. Yeah, they sure are. O2 Hero sub says, Mecha Break me off a piece of that Kek Kek bar. Boo. Green Room sub uh, rated the channel. Thanks, Green Room. A Rodal sub, thank you. So to Spider-Man, I was listening to the discussion about GameStop, and it's wild how they could have become Barnes and Noble video game media if they weren't such shits. The ball was dropped. It was fu the ball wasn't just dropped; it was fucking spiked. Yeah, for real. And Black Mage subbed. Xbox tried. Xbox gave Pat. X. Oh boy. Xbox gave Pat when he tried to abuse him with the pipe. I don't really know what that means, but I'm, I'm, I'm goodbye. Fuck.